And it's our favorite day of the year in 2K Sports. At long last, it's time to roll the ball out there and get the new season of NBA basketball underway. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Brooklyn Nets. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Houston Rockets. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Friday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Allie LaForce. Allie. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Well, very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. And after a long offseason, both teams sure would like to kick things off with a win. Yeah, and don't forget, B.A., these early games count the same as the ones down the stretch. A hot start can make all the difference in building momentum and getting you to your ultimate goal. And the starting lineup for the Nets. Harrison Durant in as the forwards. James Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Griffin in at the center position. And for Houston, Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. Green and Tate on the perimeter. And it's Wall in at the point. Outside Irving. Pass to Griffin. Durant against Tice. Griffin, a screen on Tice. Here's Durant. Back to Griffin. It's rebounded by Houston. Outside Tate. Wall for three. Griffin pulls down the board. Now the Nets with it. For three, Durant fires in the triple. Well, it doesn't get any better than this. Kevin Durant's stroke from three-point range is money. Here's Tate over Harris. That's good from Tate on the assist by Green. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. The shot's good. The number of ways Kyrie Irving can finish on the interior is something to behold. Left, right, over defender, doesn't matter. There's Tice with a three. Nice start for him, taking his first shot. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Well, just so consistent, right, with his effort, with his toughness. Tice is a guy who's constantly being physical. And even if he's outsized, guys, the fight is there. Now here's Tate. Outside wall. Ooh, the pump fake. Kept the D off balance. Gave him room to work. And this is the ongoing development of John Wall, hitting that jumper with consistency. And Doris, even though he is so reliable, Tyson's contributions often seem overlooked. Yeah, I think part of that is this is not a flashy player. His box score isn't going to be stacked. But when you look at the screens he sets, the rebounding, the position on defense, they're usually a grittier team when he's between the lines. And so it's Houston with it. The Nets making their last shot. Tice finds Green. It's Tate on the wing. Back to Wall. Fires from deep. And the Rockets hit again from deep. <laughs> That's a big time move right there by John Wall. Go to work. Outside Harden. The three is up. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Kyrie Irving, three shots. And he's good on the first of three. When Kyrie Irving is engaged, guys, this guy is almost unstoppable. The handle, the finishing ability, the absolute fearlessness when the game hangs in the balance. And he makes all three. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Wood passes to Wall. Over to the wing. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. 
And that one's good. Green. Now John Wall's vision is unquestioned. He puts it on time and on target, creates an easy look for his teammate. Now here's Irving. Five points in the game. Durant finds Harden. Shot clock at five. The shot that time not on target. Wall with the defensive effort. And it's hammered home by Green. Daniel Tice is unselfish by nature. Puts the pass on time and on target. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Tice against Durant. Over Tice. Misses off the right iron. For Houston, they've gone six of seven and looking good. Tate's shot is off. The Nets have gone three of seven so far. It's Griffin, high post. Woods is there. And it's Irving missing. Houston in the lead. Tate passes to Wall. Back to Tate for three. The kick out to Wall. Two. There's Tice with a three. Two minutes. And here's Wall. Five points in the game. He gets it in there. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Harden against Wall. Pass to Durant. Back to Harden. High arcing shot. And Griffin the bucket on the assist by Harden. Though he does have a scorer's mindset, Harden's vision and experience playing alongside some of the best talent in the league have made him an awesome playmaker. Get loud for your For the Rockets. Martin, he's checked in for Wood. Augustine comes in for Tate. And it's Porter Jr. in for Green. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Aldridge is checked in for Griffin. Claxton comes in for Durant. Brown, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Mills in for Harden. Now here's Wall. He has seven. And he drives in. And Wall really helps you across the board. He fills up the stat sheet at both ends. But he also has that presence, that it factor. Whether winning or losing, his confidence never wanes. And he knocks down the first one. John Wall, of course, the number one pick back in 2010. Game is largely predicated on speed, the ability to get downhill. But boy, he has added strength to that incredibly long frame. He has been a force to be reckoned with. Brooklyn trailing. Mills with it. Pass to Irving. He takes it in. Great D that time from Porter. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Here's Martin. Back to Wall. Puts it up from 17. Brooklyn with the board. And they swept the team last season. Got the upper hand and sustained the momentum. Well, a year ago, there was a big gap in talent between the two teams. But changes are always made, and we'll see how they match up this time around. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tice. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Thirty seconds left in the first quarter here. They're just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Inside, tipped. Outside, Irving. The three gets it to go. Makes him two for five. How quickly Kyrie squares up so quickly after a dribble, even on pull-ups. That is difficult to guard. Ball got it from about 16 feet. Ball's got 11 points. Here's Irving. Releases. 
That's good on the jumper. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. And so it's John Wall making highlights for Houston. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And no question, John Wall at his best attacking the rim. But he said when his shot is falling, it's a whole different ball game. Uh, when my jump shot's going, it opens up the floor so much more for me and my teammates and giving those guys open looks. And uh, it's just the hard work I put in and these guys trusting and believing me of being able to knock down open shots. And Grant, over his career, Wall, frankly, hasn't been the most efficient scorer. Yeah, he really hasn't. I mean, a tremendous playmaker, but his jump shot is pivotal. If he gets that dialed in, it could really help his game. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Rockets. You've got to like the consistency with which they're hitting that mid-range jumper so far. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. Porter Jr. and Green team up in the backcourt. Jayshon Tate out there with Eric Gordon. And it's Shangoon in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for Houston right now. Now here's Gordon. Five on the clock. Driving inside. Oh, denied by Durant. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Rockets. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Millsap outside. Back to Harden. And the layup is good off the glass. Few guards in the league can carve out space on the interior the way Harden does. The drive by Porter, and then Porter with the dunk. Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. KBA, after the departure of their head coach and president of basketball ops last season, the Rockets traded away star James Harden. Now, he and many of their vets were sent to rivals of the 76ers. Why is that relevant? Well, their former president is now running things in Philly. Brian, perhaps it's business and personal in Houston. Well, that's a good point, Allie. Thanks for that. The Nets have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Millsap, a screen on Gordon. Harden, the pass to Millsap. Chalk up two there. Paul Millsap. Millsap's gotten his first bucket of the night. That's Millsap's shot all night. He's so consistent at that range. Pass to Shangun. From 12 feet. Goes back up. Out to Gordon. Shoots over Durant. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And the Rockets lead by eight. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Outside for Harden. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on tape. A master of attracting contact. Harden just takes pride in fooling defenders and getting those calls. That's good from Harden. Christian Wood is checked in for the Rockets. Wall comes in for Porter Jr. Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Harden hits them both. And let me throw out one of my favorite James Harden notes. He's the only player in history to score 30 points in a game against all other 29 teams in the league in a single season. After he pulled off that rare crossover, he had nothing left for the finish. 
Outside Durant. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Ball. And if you want to know which players had the most success from distance last season, here they are. Number one, Joe Harris. Distance shooters are so accurate these days. It's a real honor to have topped that list. The Nets have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Tate against Johnson. Back to Duran. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Blocking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Durant with it. Tate picks him up defensively. Johnson passes to Harden. To the inside. Griffin. It's good. Griffin. Off the assist from assist Harden. From Griffin's got the second Harden. bucket on the night. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset. Two keeping his minutes. balance even when the D is present. Ball no good for Brooklyn. They've gone four for six here in the second. Baseline, Jay, and Brooklyn again with a bucket. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Wall, the pass to Gordon. Wall against Harden. Outside Tate. There's the triple. Kevin Durant with a rebound. The Nets have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. And Harden with the slam. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. Harden against Wall. And that one hits the back iron. For Brooklyn, they've gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Harden finds Durant. Connects from downtown. And now a three-point Nets lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. City Checkers! All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Martin's checked in. Brooklyn making some changes. 54 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Now here's Wall, tightly guarded. The baseline J is off the mark. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. Mills, no good. Houston has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Wall on the attack. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. What a play by Wall. It's going to take more than that to slow him down. Defensive foul. Bruce Brown. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Houston, John Wall. At the Find line the for one. Find the lane. One shot. has gone three of six from deep so far. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Mills. Let's a floater go. Rockets with a rebound. Wood's got four rebounds now for three. Gordon. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Irving. And a miss layup. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Rockets ahead, up by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome to halftime, everybody. Before we go any further, a look ahead to the games yet to be played tonight. Kenny, if you had to choose one, 
Which current point guard are you tuning in to watch? Without question, Dame Dollar. Not only is he clutch, but he whooped, I mean literally whooped Shaq in a rap battle. Yeah, Dame killed it, but let's get something straight. I didn't get whooped. I'll call it me up by one. <laughs> whatever you say, man, whatever you say. And now checking back in with the Houston Rockets. The matchup pretty even Steven, as they say, in the first half. I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from John Wall. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And so in the game for the Nets, Durant and Griffin the combo out front. Kyrie Irving out there with James Harden. Defense. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Blake Griffin. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. John Wall, one shot. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Harden. Excellent D there from Tate. The Rockets shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Tice. That shot, no good. Nice D from Durant. Harden against Wood. Outside Durant. Launches a three. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. The ability to be ready to rise and fire in that situation so important. Kevin Durant, no doubt. It's Tate on the wing. Back to Wall. Beyond the arc. And count it. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Pass to Irving. And it's blocked by Wood. Out of bounds. Nets ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Offensive rebound. I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound. Wall gets the bucket. Boy, John Wall has had to fight through so much to keep his career on track. This guy is still getting buckets. Outside Harden. Durant inside. He's against Tice. Durant's shot is off. Houston has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. And of course, Kevin Durant signing a big extension this summer. Fresh off a gold medal for the U.S. where he was the most dominant player in the world in Tokyo. And now locked in his next four years with the Brooklyn Nets. A great deal for him and a great deal for his squad. Two points. That one goes. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Down low. Tate passes to Tice. Now Wall. And Wall gets double teamed. Deflects the pass. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. And here's the fast break. For three, here's Harris. And the Nets miss again. For Houston, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Here's Wall. And 
and the big finish by Wall. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You got to love it. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And it's Harden penetrating. Can't cash it in from close range. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 12-3 run. Wall, the pass to Porter. Wall drawing the double. Tice outside. And here's Porter outside. The shot off that time. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Right side, Irving. Here's Griffin. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Griffin's got six. A really heads up play by Kyrie Irving on time and on target pass. We've seen that before. Your City Martin, he's checked in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for Tate. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Kyrie Irving is fourth. Very steady at the line. He's a guy who isn't rattled easily, and that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. So it's the Rockets now. Wall, the pass to Tice. The Rockets with another miss. Brooklyn has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Johnson. Buries it down low. James I'll Johnson. tell you, how about the playmaking from Kevin Durant? On time and on target with the pass. Here's Wall. Rebounded by the Nets. Outside Irving. Sinks the tray. And now just a five-point rocket lead. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. The loudest and craziest fans get a free. Augustine, he's checked in for the Rockets. And a change for the Nets. Brown, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Get loud for your Outside Augustine. From about 19. Called in by Brown. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. The Rockets have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Martin. Back to Gordon. From the arc. The shot no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Irving with it. Now Porter defending. Outside Mills. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. The drive by Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Mills. Irving finds Brown. Six on the shot clock. Millsap outside. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. On the wing corner, defended by Brown. Pulls it, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Now it's a four-point Houston lead. Porter against Irving. To the paint. And that one's good from Millsap on the assist from Irving. Irving's got four assists now tonight. The Rockets have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. 19-footer. Here's Martin. Boom! He jams it straight down. And when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession in that way, that's tough to take. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? One shot. 
That free throw good from Irving. 16 seconds left in the third quarter. Right side quarter. On the wing quarter. Gordon, the pass to Porter. The three is up. Oh, no good on the last That's second the attempt there. Quarter, and so it's John Wall making highlights for the Houston Rockets. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We'll be back in a moment. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter, sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Brooklyn has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Green and Tate on the perimeter. Then there's John Wall. Then there's Christian Wood. And it's Shangun in at the power forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Durant connects on the Kevin open Durant. jumper. Kevin Durant knows exactly where his scoring opportunities come from, and he is capitalizing right now. Wall on the take. And the big finish by Wall. Coming down the stretch. We'll see if someone can capture the lead and hold it. Yeah, that's been an issue. Five lead exchanges tonight. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Harden. There's the drive. Off with the layup. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Pass to Harden. And here's Durant. Clock at six. From about 16, connects. The Kevin jumper Durant. drops. And the Nets lead by one. Where Kevin Durant has really grown is manipulating pick and roll, making the right read. And this guy just adapts and adjusts so quickly. Now here's Tate. Here's Wall. Tries again. And it's Wood laying it in. Wood's got his first basket of the night. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Here's Griffin. Outside Harden. And he's going for the lob. Alley oop up top. Hammer it home. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And the foul called on John Wall. That's his first foul. Yeah, he was ready for the hop step all the way. He gets the position, holds his ground, and draws the charge. It's T-shirt Bonanza! Makes it noise! All right, thank you for coming on the court. Get loud for your Quad City Jackers! All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Martin's checked in. Well, here's a summary of what Steven Silas went over with his team during the break. He focused on perimeter play at both ends. On D, he wants to prevent open looks from deep. And at their own end, he thinks they can create better shots with better ball movement. We'll see if he gets his wish. Back to you. As always, Allie, we thank you. The Nets with a lead. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Obviously more of a shooter than a dunker, but Harris showing some verticality to his game. Wall, the pass to Wood. Outside Tate, here's Martin. This one for three. Gets the three to fall. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. The Nets have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Pass to Durant. Harden with a screen on Tate. Durant against Tate. Fades and shoots. And there's another one for the Nets. 
Yes. Now the mid range is his comfort spot, the sweet spot for KD doing work. Wall, the pass to Tatum. Wall on the attack. Harden with the defensive effort. The Nets have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Harris finds Harden. Griffin with it. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got six rebounds here tonight. The baseline, Jay. Wall gets the bucket. Wall's got four points in the quarter. I think that pull-up jumper is a shot the defense will concede to John Wall. They think you can't take away everything. Harden, the pass to Griffin. Going inside. And it's Martin with the rebound. In order to space the floor effectively for his teammates, he has to finish that one, guys. Wall on the attack. And the big finish by Wall. Well, the quickness on the drive. It is what has defined John Wall's game. That is nicely done. Brooklyn has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Brooklyn calls timeout. What a great performance here from John Wall. At some point, you have to try and force the ball out of his hands. But that's easier said than done. Wall the Your Clutch City Kickers! Tice has checked in for Martin. Irving's checked in for Brooklyn. Mills comes in for James Harden. Side Mills. And he lobs it up top. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Out of bounds. It'll be the Nets ball. And the Nets shooting 52% from the floor so far. Irving Two finds Durant. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Oh, deflected. Here we go. All alone. Now the Nets on the break. Outside Mills. It's Griffin. High post. Back to Mills. Down to five on the shot clock. Griffin a screen on tape. Here's Mills. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Wall gets double team. Green for three. Nails it from three. And you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. From outside, off the mark. Ball against Durant. To win the drought. And he buries it. What a beautiful shot. Brings it within three. Well, don't you love it when Durant is mixing it up on the interior, using his size to his advantage. Oh. Woo. When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim, okay? There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Now Wall. Over Mills. Cash! <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. Thank you. 
Here's Durant. And a miss there off the inbound. Yes. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. And now we've got an intentional foul. Patrick Miller. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Wall. Taking two. the first one and that increases the lead to six so he goes two for two at the line and it's a seven point game well we know this free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game this guy keeps his composure and comes through Durant no good And so the Rockets take the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Thanks so much. I'm here now with John Wall. John, you guys were scoring really well tonight. What was the key to unlocking your offense? Well, with us, I do a great job of me just attacking, trying to get into the paint. I'm trying to find my teammates and let these guys knock down shots. And I've did a great job of just closing out the game. You knew to be the aggressor tonight. Thanks, John. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now our New Balance player of the game, John Wall.